Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends Wooden Railway Stories, Episode 2, An Express of a Problem. On the island of Sodor, Gordon the Big Engine always takes the express, except one day he became ill. Mr. Topham Hack came to Napford Station. I need somebody to take the express. Do you know anybody that can take the express? No, said Sir Handel. Well, that's not good, said Sir Topham Hatt. What about you, Gordon? I believe all the other engines are at work. Sir Topham Hatt quickly went into his office. He came out a few minutes later. Ugh, all the engines are doing something, except for the four of you. Scarlowy, Reneus, Peter Sam, and Sir Handel. I need you guys to take the express. Us, said Scarlowy. We... We can't take the express. But you have to. There's no other engines to. Come on, Scarlowy. We have to. Yeah, Scarlowy. Let's give it a shot. Oh, it's going to be a challenge. A challenge indeed. But the four of you I know can do it. You're very strong engines, no matter how big you are. Yeah, said Gordon. You guys can do it. Okay, good. I'm glad you guys will do it, right? Of course we will, sir. Okay, that's what I like to hear. But first, we gotta get Gordon into a siding. Of course. Sir Topham had moved off of the tracks, and the engines formed a line. Scarlowy Linnaeus connected up to Gordon. They put him into a little siding. Not that big, but big enough so other engines can go around it. Good, said Scarlowy and Linnaeus. I think how we should do it, said Scarlowy, is Reneus and I will take the front and you two take the back. I like your thinking, said Sir Handel and Peter Sam. And with that, the trains were ready to go. Sir Handel and Peter Sam, instead of having to go all the way around Sodor, Decided to wait for the express to go by. They knew it would be a challenge for their friends Scarlowy and Reneus to take it for a while. Even though it wasn't that far, it was still hard for little engines like them to take the express very far. Are you ready, Reneus? I'm ready, Scarlowy. Heave! And the engines quietly carefully moved out of the station. It took a while with only the two of them, but they soon got past Gordon. Sir Handel and Peter Sand quickly connected to the back, and they were off. First they went up Henry's Tunnel. Push! Push! said Sir Handel and Peter Sand. Okay, said Scarlowy, this is where it's going to be challenging. We have to go up Gordon's Hill. They knew this would be a challenge. Okay, you guys, we've got to push, said Scarlowy. We're pushing, we're pushing, said Sir Handel. Ugh. And they stopped at the top of the hill. They let the passengers look out and see all around Sodor, and how great it was. Then they went down Gordon's Hill. Kerr, good job, you guys. What a wonderful job. Okay, we have to get to the sidings. So you guys have it all to yourselves. Okay. They stopped at the buffers. Okay. They got new passengers on and out. You guys, I think we've done good so far, said Scarlowy and Renes. We had, said Sir Handel and Peter Sam. For little narrow gauge engines, we're doing pretty good. We sure are. Okay, and with that, the passengers were ready. This time, Peter Sam and Sir Handel had a hard time. They quickly connected to Renes and Scarlowy, and they were off. Which way should we go? Should we go on the back road, or should we go... On the other, on the other side, 
I think we should go the back road, said Sir Handel. Yes, that is what Gordon usually goes. This will be hard, though. It is the back road. Oh, no. This is definitely going to be a challenge, said Renéus, as they've never gone on the back road with such a big train. It was sure bumpy, but they made it across anyway. They went under Henry's tunnel. And they quickly went through the roundhouse. Careful, we can do it. We can do it, said Scarlow and Renace. We can, we can, said Peter Sam and Sir Handel. They were nearly back at Nafford Station. Nearly there, nearly there, said the four engines. Carefully, they made it into Napford Station. Sir Topham Hat came out. What a wonderful job, he said. You guys sure showed what great engines you are, even for being narrow-gauge engines. Yes, said Peter Sam. I thought we did a pretty good job. You guys did. I'm very proud of each and every one of you. You guys will all get a brand new coat of paint. Thank you, sir, wished the engines. But before you go, I, could you please push Gordon to a different siding, as he needs he needs to be taken care of, too. Take him with you guys to get a new coat of paint. Sure will. They coupled up to Gordon. And with that, the allies were off.